Hey there, how are you? This is Elliot Safenet talking about Admin API. Admin API is the API that allows you to control uh, programly everything that relates to Admin Control Center. So instead using the Admin Control Center GUI uh, and, and press and click on, on things that you want to change or see, you can use it within a program. Um, and uh, we have uh, it in, in C, Java, and .NET applications for you. Uh, let me just show you where we can find them. Uh, if I go to uh, Sentinel LDK API uh, admin, I can see here that the, it's available in C, C++, .NET, and Java. Also, there is a CHM which is very good to uh, see examples, for instance, if I go there to examples of XML, because most of the work here is in, with XMLs uh, that you define what you want to see or what you want to change. So there are different uh, uh, samples here, what, which XMLs and how to use them and what you can get from it, etc. So very beneficial uh, to see, but the easiest uh, thing to start with is not uh, this CHM, but uh, the toolbox. So let me just open the toolbox. As we know, the toolbox has uh, several things inside it. It's uh, three different uh, APIs, and one of them is the admin API that we are talking now. The very first thing that I have to start with is uh, clicking on new or calling function new use here local OS or the other machine name and 1947 as the port and execute. I get a handle and I can proceed. I can uh, do two things, either get information from the ACC or set, change things in the ACC. So for instance, if I get information, I can say I want to get information about all the features that I have here. So I get information about the features. And for instance, I can get, uh, I can have scope of uh, just specific vendor uh, that, that is interesting for me for now, like it's the 37515, which is the demo MA. And here I want to get all configuration settings and I get here a list of many, many details. So what is the configuration details? So this is something that you need to know. If you go to the ACC and we are standing on configuration, all you see here is the configuration of uh, the Admin Control Center. And the details of the, this configuration are, are saved inside an INI file. And here you can see it below, it's a bit grayed off, but you can see C program files, etc. And there is an INI file over there. So let me go back there. It's here. C program files. Eh? Ask and here is the INI file as per MINI, and if I open it, I can see the details here that say for the configuration, for instance, if I want uh, uh, access logs max, maximum size, for instance, AO log maximum size, etc., etc., all this kind, delete log days, and this kind of information, everything is saved here. So, getting back to the toolbox, if I uh, ask to get all the configuration, then the output would be a list of uh, XML type of all the things that are listed inside the INI file. Maybe I will copy them to show you and then uh, create a new file, text file. Maybe open it using Notepad++ where I can uh, use plugin XML and use the line breaks and then see in the language XML so it's more convenient uh, to see the things that I, I see here. Uh, for instance, I can uh, see here details about uh, uh, for instance, delete log days. Delete log days. If I go to the ACC, I can see that uh, delete 
log days it is here days before deleting log files and if it's zero it never deletes so uh, I can see that it's zero here and suppose that I want to change it programly using the admin API so what I will do I will take this uh, this one let me get back to the toolbox where we manipulate uh, manipulate the uh, Arduino PI functions and what I will do I will use the set the set allows me to set configuration uh, over here to set apply multiple configuration settings and here you can change and decide what are the configuration settings that you want the most important thing is that at the end of it, it, it is the it is using we are using the right config. So let me just erase everything that are not related to the right config. And this is the the new config. I will just add the delete log days, but I will change it into another number. Let's say uh, 44. 44 days. So if I execute it, I get bad parameters because, because I've, I've used something in, inappropriate. If, if, if you can see here, uh, the things that I have uh, copied are not okay. So let me just start all over again and go back because I've made some, some mistake over there. It should be like this. And then I have to add it properly and let me get here once again let's say 44 execute now it's okay so what I'm supposed to see now is that here if I do F F5 to refresh I will see that there are 44 days instead of the zero the default one so this means that using the admin API uh, set I can change uh, default settings and of course also other things uh, in the ACC programly. So this was uh, my demonstration. You can find in the presentation also other details about other uh, options that you can use and as I said with the documentation that we have uh, over here next to the next to the uh, sorry not here next to uh, to the admin API you have the CHM where you can find more uh, samples how to use and the admin API to manipulate the ACC such as uh, seeing information and changing information that is important for you thank you for watching